Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Bright Radio and T.E.H. The Hills Productions are proud to present Storytime with Uncle Minnie. So, as he went to pick up rock number three, what did he hear but... <coughs> Darnell Duck went and stood in front of can number three. He heard the words from his mom. Enrique, don't play near the duck. Don't play near the duck. Well, he decided he would go for it anyway. And so he pulled back and he threw that third rock. Get the fence low. See that in instant replay, shall we? He threw that rock as a fin. Slow motion. That's right, there were 13 passengers entering that plane. Now, number 13, he had a special name as the ticket taker took his ticket. Try to say that three times fast. She said to him, what is your name? To which he responded, Christ, Jesus Christ. Here comes <laughs> Sucking him out the door until the only thing saving Peter was just his little fingers on the door. He was all outside the plane. So Peter yelled, somebody help me, somebody help me. James, James, Judas, Judas, Simon, Simon. Wait a second, I'm Simon. Help me! But no one got out of their seat. And just as one hand left, and he only had five fingers left on the door, he remembered. Passenger 13 was on the plane. And so he yelled, Jesus, save me! Me, me. And in that moment, yeah. Can you see it back of the plane? Jesus wakes up. Opens his eyes like you do in the morning. Took the top part of his robe off. He was ready to go. While Peter still hanging on, he began to walk towards that door. He saw Thomas, and he said, Thomas, doubt this. As he moved towards the door. Yeah. And then finally, he grabbed Peter's hand just before he let go. And with those arms, one hand, he grabbed Peter. Put him back in his seat. Buckled him up like a baby. We're at the end. He says, but I'm not done. Almost like the man of steel. Well, the story of sin is sometimes called... The Great Controversy. Controversy? I know it sounds like a big, hard word, but it's easy. All it means is the great... Argument. The great... Contest. Game. Battle with less echo. Fight! And who are the two people in this fight? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, his height exceeds the heavens. His weight outweighs the world. His reach reaches everyone. And his age is evermore the champion of love, Jesus Christ! Hello! It's Elmo! And Elmo at the bird with the choir leaders! No! Satan tempted Adam and Eve. Then Adam and Eve sinned by eating the forbidden fruit. Adam? Would you like to eat some forbidden fruit? Forbidden fruit. Oh! Long, long ago, far, far away, it always rained. 
And even before there was a Lion King, there was a man, and his name was Noah. Hi, I am Noah 2000. Are you watching your favorite cartoon? But you are unchurched? Then we have something you just can't live without. It's the Bible. It comes in different colors and different versions. There's the KJV, the NIV, the ABC, and the BET. <laughs> BET, huh? Those are the only letters I know. But what is the Bible, you ask? It's a book full of things you need to live right. It will tell you how sin started. And how sin is going to end. The study of sin is sometimes called... The Great Controversy. But wait, there's more. That's right, there is more. <laughs> and our final heroes, Samson and Delilah. Samson killed a lion with his bare hands, met a woman named Delilah, and pushed the pillars down and yelled, Let me die with the Philippines! <laughs> Did you say, let me die with the Philippines? <laughs> what can I say? I'm only four years old. For more stories with even bigger lessons, check out Children's Storytime with Uncle Minnie. Visit brightradio.org every weekend or its podcast every day. Bye-bye for now.